What's up YouTube? Vlog number seven is slightly different than the other vlogs because we decided to do a little team update and even though we have several days left on our trip, I asked each of our team members to share something that has been impactful in their life so far from being on this missions trip to Uganda. So I'm gonna start and just share that um, I've been a part of the pastor's conference today and I'm blown away. Um, some of the pastors that I've talked to literally have walked like 60 kilometers. Um, I'm not sure how that breaks down into miles, but I know it is a really long way. One pastor told me that he had church on Sunday and he walked from the end of his church on Sunday all through the night and arrived in the morning to get here for the pastor's conference. Many of these pastors do not have their own Bibles. So whenever I'm sharing scripture in the services, they're writing the scriptures down as quickly as they can because they can't afford their own Bibles and they use what they wrote down as their text for teaching and training disciples in their villages and in their bush communities. The other thing is many pastors don't have glasses. Um, after preaching five times today and preaching on the radio for over a million people this morning, um, it's humbling to think that I have access to every form of technology and that I can just put this pair of glasses on when I'm tired at night and be able to see God's word. But some of them don't, aren't able to see God's word because they don't even have access to glasses. So I am grateful for resources. I'm grateful for all that God has provided, but I'm also humbled um, to think that we have so many brothers and sisters in Christ that are in need and I'm challenged to do something about it. One of the most impactful things so far this trip has been um, just seeing how the children at Otinawa, how much their inmate sponsors mean to them. So today I met with a set of twins, Sharon and Harriet, and they just poured their heart out to me uh, how much their sponsor Clinton means to them. And they were in tears about it, talking about why does he have to be in jail and what did he do and when can he get out to come and see us. We pray for him every day, we write him letters. And just it brought to light how much impact we're making on both sides of the world because the same thing we hear from the Indians. So that's been one of the most impactful things. I've been so impressed by meeting former Otenawa students that we had sponsored before make the effort to come back because they knew we were going to be there and they tell us stories about how much we impacted their lives. I'm blown away. So today we were part of teaching a journalism class. We had to ask five, six general questions to collect information. One of the first questions was, who are you? And while I waited for the little boy to give me his name, he said, I am a child of God and I live at Otinawa Village. And it was the first thing out of his heart and it was so real. So that's what touched me today. So the most impactful thing that has been for me on this trip would just be the joy that everyone has. That you can just see it on their face. They're so happy no matter what. Jesus says to have joy in all circumstances and you can totally see it in all the Africans and it's really impacted me. So yeah, that's funny. So I think the most impactful thing is connecting people from all over the world through the vision of faith. And the most impactful thing was being able to put my sponsor face to face and to see her realistically and just see the love that came from her. So I think the one thing about this trip that has impacted me the most is seeing how willing people are to give even though they don't have anything. Um, access to food and water, sometimes clothing, um, and they are so willing to give and offer and let you come first and I think that that's amazing and I wish everybody could be like that. The most impactful thing on the trip for me has been the smiles on the kids faces even though they've lost so much they're still so happy in the Lord and they have so much joy in Him. Um, one of the most impactful things so far that I have experienced is Pastor Douglas. We went to his house and there's nine people in his household 
and apparently he moved to a nice newer house that he's been building. And we walk in and there's absolutely nothing, nothing but a dirt floor in his uh, like living, main living area. And they have this massive spread of food for us that is like a month's worth of their, their food. And they're very hospitable. We danced outside and it just blows me away that they have almost nothing and yet are just so willing to open their home where I would be very embarrassed to have nothing and be so joyous. Uh, so the most impactful thing to me is just the people's perspective of us. They think we're this like superstar and crazy rich and stuff and like when in reality in our culture we're not that crazy rich and yeah. stuff. Um, it's just been kind of eye-opening, like, just how much we take for granted and how much they look up to us. One thing I've learned on this trip is just how far a smile can go. Because even if you have no idea what they're saying, if they say it with a smile, you know it's a good thing. And you can give someone a smile and they'll smile back. And it's, it's almost a greeting and you're not even speaking. So, so far on this trip, probably the most impactful thing for me has been the church service that we went to at Amucha. Just seeing everyone respond and come to the front when they were called, it just, it really spoke to me because in the U.S. I feel like we have such a hard time just getting out of our comfort zones and going up to the front because we feel like we're going to be judged or that, you know, we don't need it or whatever. So that was really impactful for me to see basically that half the church get up and go to the front. It was kind of almost emotional to see that. It was really awesome. So I hope you enjoyed vlog number seven. We weren't able to upload the last couple days because we've been so busy. And by the time we got back to our room, we were exhausted and the internet didn't work anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, being here is just a reminder that Atenawa, this missions journey in Uganda, it's such a multifaceted ministry. We've got inmates in Oregon providing for orphans in Africa. We have orphans in Africa that are ministering to the inmates in prison. It's amazing to hear the stories of the orphans here and how they're connected to some of the best sponsors in the entire world who are inmates in Oregon prisons. I'm telling you, some of those inmates sponsor kids better than we do, those of us who have our freedom. So it's so awesome to see God at work through this amazing ministry. And if you don't know anything about Atenawa or Visions of Hope, I would encourage you to find out more. We'll see you on the next vlog.